So paying for alterations can be quite expensive. You want to know how to alter your blazers without paying a dime in less than five minutes? Then keep watching this video. Feeling very rawr, in my leopard print top. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Hey, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, SSG, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here, and if you like anything that has to do with styling, restyling one item multiple ways, upcycling, fashion finds, and lifestyle content. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, you know the drill. You know you know the drill. I'll slobber you with kisses. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back. So today, I'm so happy to bring you guys my very first ever DIY video because what is a style page if you don't have DIY projects, right? So this is a very quick, easy DIY project. In fact, I won't even call it the project because it's less than five minutes. It's a way you can alter your blazer to take it from looking very ill-fitted or frumpy to something more form-fitted or more stylish, okay? Now, I live in a place where I live in New York. And everybody knows that everything in New York is like double the price, right? It makes no sense. Why would I thrift a blazer for like five bucks or like eight bucks and alter the blazer for 20 bucks? Makes no sense. So I came up with a few ways that you can form fit your blazer without having to spend money. And it's a no sew method. So you can always return it to its original form. In order for you to make this alteration, you need safety pins. And if you've been following my channel, you will know I have said it over and over and over again that you do need safety pins in your arsenal, like in your closet. If you don't have a bunch of safety pins, I advise you to invest in some. Go buy a pack. I think they have them even in like your local Dollar Tree. You can get it on Amazon, a bunch of places. Now, I love this DIY because it is very quick. It gives you a very stylish look and it can be done anywhere. Okay, so let's go to the surgical table. <laughs> so here I have my pink Kim Rogers blazer that I thrifted from Goodwill. It's actually a size 16 and I'm a US size 6 so it's quite big. On a regular day I love the big, you know, boyfriend nature of it but today we're just trying to switch it up and make it look more form fitted. Okay, so for the first project you will need a tape measure. You're also going to need some safety pins and some elastic. Now, you can use whatever size elastic you want, but I typically like to use the half inch elastic for this particular project. I've gone ahead to measure and pin exactly where I want my cinch to start, which is about 5.8 inches from the base of the armhole. So first thing you want to do is to place the elastic on the place you have marked and make sure it's on the right spot. Pin the elastic to that point and then take out the marker pin. Remember, you mustn't have a marker pin. You can just make a mark at that point and you should be good so far as it doesn't leave a stain or it doesn't leave a mark. Now pull the elastic across the blazer to ensure that you have a straight line. For the second pin, pull on the elastic to give it some tension. While you pull on it, use your other hand, that's the hand behind the blazer, to simultaneously fold the blazer at the back and then pin that point. This should form a pleat at the back of the blazer. Go ahead and repeat the same process for the third point. And now you should have two pleats that look like this. Go ahead and repeat the same process for the entire width of the blazer.
Once you're done, be sure to cut off any excess elastic. Now your blazer should look like this with these nice pleats at the back. Aren't they pretty? And that's it. Less than five minutes, you've gone from boyfriend blazer or frumpy blazer to something more fitted, something more business chic. Now I use this method when I don't want to permanently alter my clothes and I want to switch it up. You can also repeat this method on the two sides of the blazer to give it a more fit and flare type look. So that would be an extra method. You're welcome. <laughs> you can use this method for like tops, dresses, skirts, practically whatever you need to alter. Pleats never hurt anyone, right? Now for the second method is even easier and requires only pins, no elastic or tape measure. I recommend that you do this in front of a mirror though. I typically just eyeball and pin under my bra line. Now I pin it in such a way that it looks like a dart on the blazer. So I actually look for the dart side on the blazer and basically put the pin on the dart. Now when you're done pinning one side, repeat the same process on the other side. And voila! You have a stylish blazer that you can use. This actually reminds me of the Jacques Mousse Raffaella jacket. Listen, you wear this and people think, you know, you're spending the big bucks. Sis, you're in the big leagues now. You're welcome. <laughs> Hope you like it. So that's it. Quick, easy ways you can can switch up your blazer. <laughs> so, hope you like the video. And if you like this video, there's more DIY content coming your way. So make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. What am I dancing? Well, hit the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more style and lifestyle content that you can enjoy. Make sure to share my video with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, with your enemies because we don't discriminate on this channel. A sister is trying to get to 500 subscribers so help me make my dream come true. Love you guys and I'll see you next week. Love and light.